Hi everyone, most welcome to East Civil Tech. This is a bonus video on the Bulls and Fastener series. So far, we have covered all these topics in our previous videos. In this video, we are going to understand how to calculate bond strength of bolt with the concrete. This concept is very important for the design of anchor bolts. In our design of telecom tower series, next video is going to be design of anchor bolts. Since we are making video on design of anchor bolts, understanding this concept of bond strength between the concrete and the bolt is very important. Before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, I will request you to please subscribe the channel and uh, if you like the content, please hit the like button and share with your friends. Now this is our tower actually and in this image you can uh, see the tower leg is connected with the base plate with the help of weld and this base plate is connected with the concrete with the help of anchor bolts. Again the tower leg is connected with the base plate with the help of welding and the base plate is connected with the concrete base with the help of anchor bolt. Now let's look inside the concrete. Here we are using straight anchor bolts. These bolts are also called as studs. We can use anchor plate over here. Anchor plate is a plate which is connected to the bolt inside the concrete and its main function is to transfer force from the bolt to the concrete foundation. So here we can use an anchor plate. The anchor plate will be like uh, same as the base plate and it will be connected with the all four bolts like this. The uh, two bolts are behind the uh, these two bolts. Okay. So with the help of anchor bolt we can uh, connect uh, this. The main function of the anchor plate is to transfer the forces from the bolt to the concrete foundation. Anchor plate is a plate which is connected to the bolt inside the concrete and its main function is to transfer tension force from the bolt to the foundation. So we can use anchor plate over here but uh, we are not going to use uh, in this particular design. I will show you in some other calculation. We can also use J bolts over here instead of this straight bolt. But again for the sake of simplicity we are going to use only straight bolt. But in some other video, I will surely explain that also, the J bolts also. Okay. So basically, when the tension force will come on the bolt, it will be transferred by the bond stress between the concrete and the bolt. So assume tension load is coming on this as a T. So T by 4 will be transferred on each bolt. So the tension will be in this direction, okay, upward direction in the bolt. So the bond will resist in this direction. Okay, the bond between the anchor bolt and the concrete will resist in this direction. So the tension will try to pull out the bolt and uh, the bond strength will try to hold the bolt. So how much bond strength can be developed by the particular bolt, by the particular uh, concrete block that all we are going to understand in this uh, particular video. So we can use this formula to calculate the force that can be resisted by the bond strength. So F is equal to tau BD into pi D into L. This is the formula. So here in this formula tau BD is bond stress as per clause number 26.2.1.1 of IS456-2000. You can refer this clause. From this table you can get the value of tau BD. You can see for M20 it is 1.2 and M25 it is 1.4 and so on. And after M40 and above you can take 1.9. This is the bond stress. Again these values are of limit state that means the forces that we will get by putting these values must be divided by factor of safety to get the working force. Also these values are for smooth bolts. You can see what is written over here design of bond stress in limit state method for plain bars. So bars are smooth these values are for the smooth bars. Okay, If the bolts are threaded bolt then we can increase the uh, value these values by 60%. So you might not have understood all this stuff, but don't worry, everything will be clear in the later part of this particular video. We will do a small numerical to understand all this concept which we have discussed here. Okay, again pi is the pi 3.14, d is the diameter of the bolt, l is the embedment length of the bolt inside the concrete. So this length is actually the total length of the bolt which is inside the concrete and uh, whatever uh, above the concrete. Uh, we will not consider that. So here L is the length inside the concrete. Please keep this in mind. And also this formula can be rearranged in this way. So what I have done is I have actually 
taken L left side and uh, everything to the other side. Okay, so we will get this formula. L is equal to F by tau BD into pi D. So if you have total force coming on the bolt, you can directly calculate the length of the uh, embedment length of the bolt. Okay, now let's take an example. So this is the formula we are going to use. Just assume a foundation bolt M24. 850 long bolt okay m24 that means 24 is the diameter of the bolt and total length is 850 mm okay so length above the concrete is 5d actually in general calculation length above the concrete we take 5 times of diameter it also depends on the thickness of the base plate and the number of nuts you are going to use but general formula is 5d we can take 5d so total length above the concrete 120 mm Therefore, the embedment length will be total length minus the length above the concrete that is 850 minus 120 you will get 730 mm. So, total length of the bolt inside the concrete will be 730 mm. So, we have the diameter, we have the length, we have the pi, we need the value of tau BD. To get the value of tau BD, we must know the concrete grade, right? Let me tell you the minimum grade of concrete that we can consider for the foundation is M25. As per table number 3 of IS456, anything under the ground, even for non aggressive soil, the environment will be considered as severe. And as per table number 5, minimum grade of concrete for the severe environment condition is M25. Therefore, the minimum concrete grade for foundation shall be at least M25. Therefore, we will go with M25. We can go higher than M25, but uh, we already have the ready mix proportion for the M25 concrete, so we will choose M25. So now as per clause number 26.2.1.1, for M25 grade concrete, bond stress shall be 1.4 Newton per mm square. Okay, now put all these value in the formula. The value of tau BD is 1.4, pi is 3.14, diameter is 24 mm and embedment length is 730 mm. So total uh, bond strength we are getting is 77056 newton which is 77.057 kN. Okay. Now this value is for the limit states. This is the ultimate force that the bolt can take for the bond stress. Working safe capacity will be 77.057 divided by 1.5 that is 51.37 kN. Okay. So, this is the safe working capacity that a bo this bolt can take for the bond strength. Okay. Now, again, this is for the smooth bolt. Okay. What I told you earlier, if uh, the bolt is uh, threaded, that we can increase the value by 60%. So, the bond strength will be 82.197 kN. I hope you understand this much of calculation. For the same bolt, for the same concrete block, if uh, we are using smooth bolt, then the working bond strength will be 51.371 kN and uh, for the same concrete block if we are using threaded bolt then the safe working bond strength will be 82.194 kN ok keep this in mind if you are increasing the value by 60% make sure to mention in the drawing that to use the threaded bolt only because if you have considered threaded bolt in your calculation and you have increased the value but uh, in actual on the site if they have used smooth bolt then it will be failure of the design. So it is very much necessary to specify mention it very clearly in bold uh, notes that to use threaded bolt. Okay, because on site generally they use smooth bolt because smooth bolts are cheaper than threaded bolt. Okay. Now one more formula is there in this same code IS456 let us see that that is for the development length of the reinforcement bar. Okay, The clause number 26.2.1 gives you directly embedment length uh, by using this formula. So this formula is used for the development length of reinforcement bar. So assume if you are making a connection RCC connection of a beam and a concrete column. So this is your column and this is your beam. So this reinforcement top and bottom reinforcement of the beam must be inside the column okay like this it should be bended like this okay and uh, the length if we are looking the top bar the length from here to here 
this much of length which is inside the column is the development length so when the tension will come on this bar tension or compression will come in this bar let me change the color if the tension force is coming on this bar in this direction then the reinforcement will try to slip out from the concrete column to prevent this we insert uh, the bar and bend this bar inside the column and this length should be calculated by this particular formula ld which is called the development length is equal to diameter of the bar multiplied by stress in the reinforcement bar divided by 4 tau bd again this tau bd is taken from the clause number 26.2.1.1 as per the grade of the concrete okay so this formula and this formula is one of the same uh, let me explain you how what we can see is i can uh, write this diameter as a d okay because we are using d as a diameter and this sigma s is actually force coming on the bolt divided by force upon area of the uh, reinforcement bar okay so i will write as is the steel okay then 4 into tau bd again what we can write this d into force is force upon area will be pi by 4 into d square upon 4 tau bd now this d and d will get cancelled and uh, this 4 and 4 will get cancelled okay so what you will actually get f upon pi this pi into tau bd into diameter of the pole so this this and this formula are one of the same okay so i hope you understand the concept if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe our channel so i want to share one statistics from uh, my channel this is watch time from the subscriber and you can see that not subscribed people are 90 percent and the subscribed people watching is approximately 10 percent uh i don't know why people are not subscribing my channel only 10 percent are the people who are watching are my subscribers so I want to increase it to up to 50% and uh, this is all in your hands. You can uh, increase this value just by subscribing the channel. So thank you for watching the channel. If you like the content, please hit the like button and share with your friends. We'll meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.